One morning as Percy was being prepared to do brake van rides that day, the manager walked up to him. Percy, I have a special job for you today. I need you to shunt coaches and steam heat the carriages at the big station because their steam heat boiler has broken. Oh goodness Hector, what on earth is that? It's a steam locomotive. They burn coal and water, not like us diesels. Oh, what a ghastly and inefficient thing it is! Didn't you used to take them to the scrapyard? Oh yes, it was one of my favourite jobs. Really cleaned up those sidings and made the shed look much neater. Oh, I couldn't agree more. They damage our paintwork with their ash and smuts. What do you think it's doing here, though? Why don't we ask? Oh, it's beneath an express engine like myself to do such a thing. I say, what on earth are you doing here? This is a diesel shed and you're making our paintwork look simply dirty. Oh, hello. I'm Percy. I'm here to steam heat your carriages for you. Steam heat? We have a perfectly operable steam boiler in our carriage shed just for that job. Well, that's true, you did, but it's broken now. So I've been sent here to heat your carriages while it's being repaired. Well, I hope you don't make too much noise and have too much soot and ash everywhere. We diesels like our sheds to look beautiful. The only mess around here is that little bit of oil dripping from underneath you. Oh! Oh, driver! Stop the leak! Stop the leak! Oh, it shall spoil my image! Oh, driver, do something! Oh, for goodness sake! Will you put a sock in it? I'd rather have a nice steam locomotive any day than you diesels. All you do is whine, whine, whine! Percy was shunting coaching stock into the platform for the mainline engines. He didn't mind, he enjoyed working hard and being useful, though he thought the diesels could learn a lesson or three, as they were sometimes very lazy, and then one day it happened. Where is the diesel for this train? Oh, it's been a right day. The silly diesels come out of the sheds, derailed itself right across the points, no other engines can get out. Though there is that small steam engine in the carriage sheds. That seems like a sensible idea. I'll phone the yard manager. Percy puffed off to the station, passing the diesel sheds on his way. Oh, you there, called Hector. Do be a darling get me the breakdown train. I seem to have um, had a slight problem. Sorry, I haven't got time. Got to pull a passenger train. Passengers come first, you know. Just remember that. Oh, oh. What a hurtful comment from a nasty little steam engine. It'll take me days to get over that comment. Oh, I could really cry. I simply could. Percy arrived at the station and the passengers cheered. The guard then blew his whistle and slowly but surely, slipping at first, he got underway, passing the diesel shed en route. Mm, glad to see a proper engine on that train, not like these useless spam cans. Later that day, Percy moved Hector back into the diesel shed. Oh, I shall have to be washed. I have so much soot on me. You, snapped the yard manager, will learn how to be a proper engine and an engine that concentrates on its work rather than its appearance. You work hard and you'll be cleaned. But until you do, you will not be cleaned any more. Oh, but I shall look so unsightly. If only I still have my useful steam engines, they'd get the job of ten diesels done in an hour. The diesels were silent after that, and the yard manager turned to Percy. Would you like to work the passenger train to the next week? I've cleared it with the fat controller, now that the steam heat boiler has been fixed. Oh, yes, please, said Percy. Oh, excellent. The passengers will be pleased. They will actually get to their destinations on time for once. The diesels looked away, ashamed at their laziness. I promise to work hard from now on. <laughs>